Hotel Mary. E.T. Welcome to the Science of Energy Fusion. And today we will be discussing what kind of things you should have for your ancestral altar or your altar in general. And that's altar with an A-L-T-A-R. Okay, so the first thing you want to have always is a picture. Now, there are some people who don't know what direction to go and are just beginning out here. So when that happens, you just want to have a picture of a of relative to start your altar until you find your deity or God or whoever you look up to in a higher spiritual aspect outside of a family member. You can also just write the name. If you don't have a picture of this family member that you really used to cherish, a name works. Make it a beautiful name. You, you know, if you're not that creative, you know, do some kind of um, special thing with the name, make it be colorful, things like that. Have like a creative, fun aspiration going on. So, mm -hmm. dump one whole thing. So you also want to have candles and the candles would actually represent what chakra you're looking to or, or to enhance and bring more clarity through. Uh, also, you can do whatever color due to what you like as your favorite or something that you believe can really do something for you. Such as love would be pink or green if you're going off of the chakra system and brown, black, red would be your root chakra protection, things like that. You have white for clarity and clarity could be clarity through your clear, clearness through your heart, clearness through your root, whatever. Okay, so then you want to have crystals. You want to have any kind of crystal, even your favorite crystal. What happens is your ancestor spirits help cleanse your crystals too, not just you. So they're empowered by the highest good of the spiritual realm in which that you are bringing home to yourself. You can also put a form of metal on there, like maybe a gym creation or um, maybe something that has metal that you really like, maybe some kind of creation or just simply adding a little metal just to have it. Um, it could be any metal, gold, silver. Uh, uh, gold and silver are very powerful resonances. Pl platinum, if you want to take it way, way high. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you can use. Excuse me. Hmm? Copper as well. Copper is the most important metal, especially in your skin, plenty of zinc. So another thing you can have on your altar is like jars. Like maybe you want to store food in there. Maybe you want to store coins in there, money, whatever. Have a jar that you collect stuff in on there. It could be seashells when you like to do your favorite activity. You can do... Um, like a, maybe a toy that you had when you were a child that reminds you of this person. So many different things. Put that on low. About three or two. So when, when also making your ancestor altar, what kind of prayers do you do, right? Or what kind of, what do you, what do you say now? You have everything. What do you say? Oh yes, you also want to have sage and incense, preferably like spiritual incense, such as herbs from the earth, myrrh, frankincense, lavender, patchouli, sandalwood, dragon's blood. Uh, what's another one? Eucalyptus and vinegar. And eucalyptus, uh, there's, a, Nin, but the Moringa did. So 
Uh, there's so many different things that you can add on to your altar that really, really help enhance. You can also like, after you make your food, put the actual food that you'll be eating on there, not just the food that you offer to them. Helps with resonance as well. Purify energies and things right. like that. Always show gratitude to your ancestors or just by feeding, by feeding them the same food you eat by is also important because it reminds you to only give them food that they approve of. And meaning that you would avoid eating any bad foods because you can't give it to them because you have to give them everything you eat. So they might be a huge reflection that when you poison yourself, you poison them. So, and things of that nature. Water, you always want to have maybe a cup of water on there. You always want to have Himalayan salt, good for repelling negative spirits, bay leaves. Um, what else can you have? You, If you have like water near you, like a beach or a lake or a river, and it's not dirty, like you can, don't mind putting your hand in there, then, well, you don't really have to put your hand in there to put a jar in there. Scoop some water for them. More, why? There's two reasons why. One, you want to have every element on your altar. Water, fire, earth, and air. And air would be um, existent in the room. Uh, there's another form of air. I don't, I'm, I'm unsure. Uh, <laughs> then you have fire. Air is represented. Represent air. air is a representation of the, of the mind. So yeah, gemstones the work. You can also use a plant because that helps cycle air. Yeah. So it can help with the representation of the element of air and earth. So when now I have a video about, you know, spirit guides, how to contract physical to spiritual uh, guides, such as when your animal passed away, etc. cetera. Um, you can check that out. I'll put the link in the, in the description on how to get contracted with them. It's so important to know that you can also contract spirit guides, not just automatically there. So it's very exciting. Um, however, most people might not go for it because it does require you to touch a animal. Um, they are precious and they won't hurt you while they're dead. It's just a lack of, um, stabilizing the anxiety in one's awareness, which also comes with a lack of a lot of different kinds of self-reflection. I learned that personally, facing my reflections, getting over things and accepting things allowed me to not be scared of insects anymore and not be scared to pick up dead animals anymore. So it's all a form of awareness. But sometimes it actually did look like the animal was breathing when I was looking at it and it was dead. <laughs> That's what freaked me out. And then um, now with insects, they just tickle on your, 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 your um, sense hairs. I forgot what they call them. You know, they just tingle. It just makes them tingle. Most people don't like the feeling of chills. So it's like when a spirit walk past you and it's like, whoo, chills, or your hairs just stand up. But anyway, to really make a powerful altar, 
and experiences in your spiritual progression, that is definitely something you probably want to know. And um, there is also, you always, when you, you consume even higher forms of food and awareness, you want to definitely give it, give it to your ancestors, such as gold or platinum or copper or silver, like liquid form, like something you actually ingest. Uh, ashwagandha, blue lotus, you know, anything you consume, metal or, or, or not, give to your ancestors. Get a container that you can put all of the food in as a mix. Okay. And make sure it closed tightly because it can smell. Fill it up with all different meals until it's full and other things you consume throughout the day, like maybe your snack, whatever you consume during your snack, gold, silver, spirulina, any of your, uh, even your supplements, anything you intake, absolutely anything you intake, you give to them. And you can even, you know, break up a couple incense and give it to them. You can break a piece of sage off, give it to them, break a piece of Palo Santo off, give it to them, or wait until the sage and the Palo Santo heat reach the point where you can't have it lit anymore and carry it in your hand and give that to them. You can also do, we get like pine cones or, you know, uh, flowers from outside, just a bunch of different things you can do. You can keep your, um, what your your spiritual tools on there such as your singing bowl your tuning fork always keeping it at that stable resonance that they're giving off have like symbols on there such as the flower of life you have um the flower of life the unk the ayara whatever you whatever symbols call to you that you see are bringing a higher form of reality for yourself so that they can amplify the resonance and make sure that you're, you're progressing the way that you want to. Most importantly, the ancestors will make you do the work in order to get to certain levels and states of beingness, of awareness and existence. So with wanting these things, you do have to put in the work and knowing what it takes. You can put your tarot deck on your altar. If you have one, you can, you can put so many different things on your altar to be nurtured by the ancestral spirits. And most importantly, give thanks always even if you don't give anything at that time and moment it is important to stop and have a session with them and give thanks most importantly always give thanks every time you receive food give thanks every time you receive money give thanks every time you receive a new form of awareness to further your progression, give thanks. Give thanks for all the forms of prosperity that you receive in your life because they have to move blockages out your way, not just you, okay? In order for you to receive what you need that you may not be aware of is in your way as well. So always, 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 always give thanks. I can't express that enough. Always make sure you're showing gratitude in your actions and in your words and how you treat people. Remember that the gratitude is not just with your ancestors. The gratitude is in the world around you who is a constant representation to, sh to show your growth in reciprocation of who you are who shows you all that you, who gives you all that you need and awareness to be who you are. And, and just gratitude, 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 no matter how bad it can get sometimes, it's just a path in the rule. It's just a rock in the ocean that you just gotta pass, pass through and only see it as that. Meaning once it's gone, it's gone. And, it can, it can, it can come back. But most importantly, know that you need to let go. 
of that so that when it comes by again, you can change that by the way that you deal with that again, okay? Much love and happy ascension. Dua, thank you for watching. Shimem Mary Hotep, let's go in love and peace. Shem Irma, let's go do harmonious balance. Have a grand day.